We're joined now by the new police chief of Portland, Oregon, Chuck Lovell. He's an 18-year veteran of the Portland Police Bureau, taking on his role as chief just last week, following the resignation of his predecessor, who said that she wanted to make way for him to lead the department. Thank you so much for joining us, chief. Thank you for having me. And you've had strong ties with the black community as an officer for some time now, and your department posted a video this week highlighting the diversity of your police force. And you're now emphasizing the need for greater community policing. Explain what that looks like today and, and how it also changes your force, how your force is operating right now. You know, we've been a pioneer in community policing here in Portland, Oregon. Um, we're at a point now where I think law enforcement throughout the nation is, is going to have to take a long, hard look at the service we're providing communities. And uh, trust and connection are really two key aspects that I think we're all going to have to focus on. Now, uh, there was a time here where officers worked districts for a long time, knew people in those districts, and had strong community ties. And for a lot of different reasons, um, we've gotten into a lot of different specialty units and other roles that I think have uh, spread us out and taken us a little bit away from that connection. So I'm looking for opportunities for us to get back closer, more closely connected to the community. And, and you've opposed calls to reduce the police budget, but millions will likely be diverted to other efforts. So what's your message to protesters in the streets right now calling for the defunding of the police? And how do you make the case for what's needed to maintain public safety? No police chief wants to, uh, to be defunded. Um, but when those decisions are made, you know, it's the job of uh, police chiefs like myself to lead the department through those changes. Um, I think there really needs to be some investment in things like training and um, opportunities for officers to have more time to spend with community and listen and see kind of where we can find some common ground. Um, I think for, for us right now, it's really going to be figuring out ways to best resource um, to best staff our need to answer 911 calls, but still find ways to connect with youth and uh, really get back to community policing. And there have also been some claims of excessive force against protesters as well as some members of the press in Portland, in addition uh, to prior use of tear gas against protesters, which has now been suspended. How are you addressing those complaints? You know, we really value our relationship with the media. Um, our job out there is to keep people safe, let people exercise their free speech uh, rights safely. And uh, those complaints, you know, we've been, I think, almost 20 days straight of, uh, of protests here. So there are going to be some instances where complaints come in. We're going to look hard at those. Um, we have great systems of accountability in place. And uh, we're going to address those appropriately once the, the investigations are complete. And Portland's mayor has already moved to disband your bureau's, uh, your bureau's gun violence reduction team that investigates shootings and, and the, to end the school resource officer program as well as pulling officers from the transit police because critics say that they've targeted people of color. What's your response to those moves? You know, we, we had those three units um, who've done great work. They've, you know, really been dedicated to public safety. Uh, when those decisions are made, you know, for me, it's how do we best resource? What do we do to answer those calls for service still? Um, the important work of the gun violence reduction team, the school resource officers and transit uh, still has to get done. We just have to find a way to do it that's more in line with, with what the community expects from us. And there are calls from elected leaders in Portland to end police involvement in responding to calls that they say could better be handled by individuals who are not armed, including cases where mental health may be the primary issue. Is that the right path forward, do you think, to reducing incidents of, of misuse of force? I think it's a path forward. I mean, we'll have to see kind of what the impacts and outcomes are. I am a believer, though, that that police don't have to show up and do everything. There are some things we um, started doing as a police department or police force that, you know, probably could be handled by someone else. Maybe it's a, a partnership between uh, clinicians or other folks, but I, I'm not a believer that the, the police have to handle every type of call.
And lastly, Chief, many have applauded your appointment as both symbolic and also a necessary move to regain the community's trust. But uh, curious to get your take as a black man in America, how you viewed the last few weeks of protests and calls for change across the country. You know, I'm, I'm definitely a supporter of peaceful protests. Uh, my parents came up during the civil rights era. I'm probably not sitting here talking to you today if not for the power of peaceful protest. And I'm definitely a, a staunch believer in people's ability and their right to exercise free speech to make change. Um, you know, I think it's interesting for me just wrestling with uh, particularly what happened to Mr. Floyd, um, the feelings um, around that, the heartbreak and still having, you know, black skin, but having to put on this blue uniform and go out and do, do a, a job that's really tough right now. Um, I hope that we're at a point in this country where we can make some meaningful change. I think the police right now are in the spotlight, but there are many, many institutions in our nation that really, um, really need change as well. Um, you look at you know, everything from employment, economics, health care, um, that really need to take a good hard look at you know, how they're serving people. Portland Police Chief Chuck Lovell, we thank you so much for your time. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.